और डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वील स्टडी वॉट डू वी मीन बाय बेस बैंड एंड पास बैंड ट्रांसमिशन नाउ से इफ यू आर हैविंग अ सिग्नल और से वॉट एवर यू स्पीक और एनी वीडियो ओके इफ यू कन्वर्ट दैट साउंड एनर्जी टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इट विल बी अ लो फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल और इफ यू कन्वर्ट अ पिक्चर टू एन इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल भी सो इट विल बी अ लो फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल सो इट विल लुक एज अ लो फ्रिक्वेंसी इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल ओके नाउ दिस लो फ्रिक्वेंसी इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल कैन हैव अ frequency range say around 0 to 5 kilohertz something like that something like that or low frequency range it will have now if this signal whether it is analog or digital you can also have a digital signal which will have discrete values okay let the information be anything whether it is analog or digital if you send the signal as it is through a wired medium if you send a signal as it is through a wired medium from transmitter to receiver from transmitter to receiver without doing any modulation and demodulation without doing any modulation or demodulation you are just going to amplify the power and you will have some filtering options only with that from transmitter you are going to send the original basic signal which is of low frequency with increasing its power and filtering it properly from transmitter to receiver then it is called as base band transmission here you are not doing any modulation or demodulation you are just going to send the basic signal whether it is analog signal or digital signal whether it is analog version of the information or the digital version of the information that electrical signal only by increasing its power and filtering it to a proper frequency you are going to send it from transmitter to receiver without doing any modulation or demodulation so there is no modulation demodulation here so only the signal is going to go only the basic signal basic signal which is which is the information signal is going to go from transmitter to receiver that type of transmission is called as base band transmission on next student when we come to pass band transmission now here we are going to do a frequency transition we are going to increase the frequency like for example say if your information wave if your information or whether you call it as message or whether you call it as modulating signal modulating signal so it will be a low frequency signal it will be a low frequency signal say it is from 0 to 5 kilohertz okay now this frequency signal it will modulate a carrier it will modulate a high frequency carrier high frequency carrier okay now this signal can be your analog signal or digital signal anything you get okay and that digital also can modulate a carrier analog signal also can modulate a carrier okay you are going to modulate a carrier means you are going to change change either amplitude frequency or phase one of the parameter of the carrier so in analog or communication if you change the amplitude it is called as amplitude modulation if you change the frequency it is called as frequency modulation if you change the phase it is called as phase modulation similarly in digital modulation if you change the amplitude it is it is called as amplitude shifting if you change the frequency it is called as frequency shifting if you change the phase it is called as phase shifting phase shifting okay but what is happening in this modulation process what is happening in this modulation process the low frequency rides on a high frequency the low frequency of the information is going to ride that is the carrier high frequency is going to take that low frequency from transmitter to receiver that means say if your carrier is 100 kilohertz okay 100 kilohertz and if you are doing amplitude modulation then you will get 
हंड्रेड माइनस फाइव किलो हर्स टू हंड्रेड प्लस फाइव किलो हर्स ओके दैट मीन्स नाइंटी फाइव किलो हर्स टू हंड्रेड एंड फाइव किलो हर्स दिस विल बी द बैंडविथ दिस विल बी द रेंज ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी वॉट विल बी गोइंग फ्रॉम ट्रांसमीटर टू रिसीवर ओके दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव किलो हर्स वॉट वी आर बेसिकली हैविंग एज अ बेसिक सिग्नल एज अ इन्फॉर्मेशन सिग्नल दैट इज शिफ्टेड टू नाइंटी फाइव किलो हर्स टू हंड्रेड एंड फाइव किलो हर्स इन दिस यू कैन सेंड फ्रॉम हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड एंड फाइव किलो हर्स ऑल्सो दैट इज योर फाइव किलो हर्स और यू कैन सेंड फ्रॉम नाइंटी फाइव टू हंड्रेड किलो हर्स ऑल्सो Any one band you can say either the lower side band or upper side band. Any one band you can say. So you are sending this frequency. But what you have done here, you have shifted the frequency zero to five kilohertz, either to hundred to hundred and five kilohertz or ninety five to hundred kilohertz. That means that basic frequency shifted shifted to a range of frequency, which is passing through a band. This is a band of frequency. This is the band of frequency where you can use a bandpass filter and pass it through it. That is why this type of transmission when you do from transmitter to receiver, where the basic information signal is shifted to another higher range of frequency by the process of modulation, and you send that signal from one point to another, that is transmitter to receiver. That type of transmission is called as pass band transmission. and then we know that once we do modulation we can have the advantage of multiplexing it also afterwards and we can have many other advantages where we can go for a long distance our communication also many things will come after that but what is pass band pass band is your basic information signal that frequency range you have shifted to a higher frequency range with the help of modulation and then at the time of receiving you can do demodulation and extract back the information so this is what is pass band transmission now the two things are very clear to you in base band transmission only the basic information signal is transmitted from transmitter to receiver and in pass band transmission the basic information modulates a carrier and goes to a higher frequency range and that is the band of frequency which is going to go from transmitter to receiver so this is your base band transmission and pass band transmission so this you should know very clearly